Hey guys, it's Madeline here and I'm in the gorgeous Ibiza with the beautiful Amory, who's an amazing retreat chef here at Canveroo. Now she's going to share with us some of her favorite retreat recipes. So today we're going to start with cooking some no rice sushi, which is a brilliant carbohydrate alternative um, and I use it all the time on my retreats. So let's, let's get go. started. So in the middle of our sushi today, we're going to have three ingredients. So first, some nice cucumber. Nice. We're going to cut it julienne, so okay. we need it about this a length? quarter length. So we're looking for them to be quite thin because they're a lot easier to, to roll and they can work with the other ingredients and really roll together. And would you still use these middle bits? No, the middle bits we'll take out because okay. they're too soft and you don't want things too wet in the middle of the roll, you want them to okay. be quite nice and firm. Oh yeah, I like the crunch Yeah, the exactly. So then we're putting in an avocado. I like avocados in everything, smoothies, yes. salads, um, good fats, of course. So how would you like these? Half, split it round, turn it around the nut. Yep. And then again, we're going to try and cut pieces similar size. So everything's about the same size and shape, which again helps with the rolling. This is so good, I'm really excited. Like, I make cauliflower rice for things like yep. curries, yep. but I've never done it in sushi. Cauliflower rice is just a really good carbohydrate alternative. So lower calorie, light, but you still get the good sushi feel. So yeah. it's really good, really, really tasty as well, of course. So finally we have our mango. Okay. Um, so again, we're going to try and cut the same size strips, keep everything uniform. And that gives a nice bit of sweetness. Absolutely, and you don't want it too ripe again, you know, when mangoes are a bit soggy, yeah. not good. It's the same as the avocado, it's getting that right, you know, not too, too firm, not too soft. So we've just got it just about right today. Perfect. So we're going to cut that into the thin slivers again. And how long would it last in the fridge? Um, I guess if it's vegetarian, you could definitely, and these rices, you could definitely have it the day after. Okay. Um, for me, if it was fish or sashimi, you would eat it straight away. Okay. Definitely, definitely not keep it for any longer than a day. Okay, cool. So that's all our fillings chopped. Excellent, so now we're going to start rolling. We've got our rolling mat here today. We've got this flat side here, and on the okay. inner side, it's quite rounded, can you see? Oh, I see. The flat side helps with the rolling. So, that, that always faces up. Today we're going to use nori. That needs to stick to the, to the bottom of the mat here. So if you can imagine having crab claws, mm -hmm. and we need to be able to grab the nori. Okay. Okay. What we're going to use today is two different types, which are no rice sushi. So we've got cauliflower rice yep. or quinoa. So you can choose which one you want. I think I'm going to go cauliflower rice. Cauliflower. So the cauliflower we blended and blitzed, okay. and then I'm going to take the black quinoa. So Again, it's a really good protein sauce um, and it's really nice to roll with it, it's super pretty. We need about a tennis ball's worth a uh, tennis filling, ball. so it's about 130 grams I think. And what we're going to do is pour it on, start in the middle and work outwards. And what we need to do is leave about a one centimetre train line free, so you can just see the noise. Around the whole thing? Just, so just at the top and the bottom strip. We're looking at about that much, so you've just, yeah, perfect. Do you think that's good? Perfect. Okay. okay, now we're going to roll. So, this is our water bowl. We need that to keep our hands a little moist. Okay. Um, and to help seal it at the end. So what we're going to do now is fill with our ingredients. I and definitely me. have lots of avocado in mine. I know, I love and avocado. Uh, and it, I, I'm a, in the quinoa rice, right, it makes such a contrast, you know, the colours are so yeah, beautiful. Yeah, the colours look awesome. Love it. Okay. I'm, I'm ready to go. about the rolling, yeah. So I'm going to show you first. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're grabbing our nori here and what we need to do first, the first move is to pull the nori over to the other side of the ingredients. Okay. And, and then you'll touch your rice and you'll give it a tiny little squeeze. Now the pressure is minimal. Okay. What we're looking for is just to bind it together a little bit. Don't squish too hard because we don't want to squash the roll. And then we lift up our mat and roll again and then down. So what we're doing is rolling it gently Pushing it together gently and keeping that rolling action going. Really gentle. And then we've roll. <gasps> oh, it looks beautiful. And then when we've rolled it, we can cut it into nice equal chunks. It's really simple. So thumbs under. Underneath. Yeah. And fingers. Mm -hmm. And then we roll over to the other side of the ingredients and then we touch yeah. your nori onto your rice and give it a little squeeze all the way along. Perfect. Just very gentle. Very gently. <laughs> Do I push down? Push, yeah, keep pushing down. Okay. And then and give it another little squeeze and you should feel now you've got your full roll under your hands. Yeah. Perfect. Give it a little squeeze. And then you should reveal and it should be... It's the big reveal. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> Hooray! Is that good? That's good. 
So it's tight enough, that will cut really well. It'll be perfect. I'm well so done. excited. Um, again, this is quite a delicate thing to do. What you need is a really, really sharp knife a delicate hand, we're going to use the knife to guide through the sushi roll, not exactly pushing down because it will just break apart. Okay. The final part is you need to wet the end of the knife. Wetting the end of the knife helps to cut through the nori. It just makes it an easier slide. We're going to cut right in the middle first and we're going to cut slowly down. So you can hear it breaking but you're not pushing. And you have an equal cut, okay? Mm. And then we're going to do it again. We're going to do it in half. So what we're looking for is eight equal slices. And then we're going to do that again. Looks so smooth. So I'm going really slowly here. I'm okay. not putting too much pressure on. The less pressure you put on, the better the, the clean cut will be. I really you want can to see it. see there, look, it's pretty. Oh, it looks stunning. So what we're going to do once we've got our pieces is put them on the, on the plate. So I'm going okay. to hand this over to you. I'll clean the knife. And then in the middle? Straight in the middle, that's right. Okay. And slide down. Perfect. So you're going to hear the kind of the crunch when you got through yeah. the noise. There we go. And how long do you think it takes to be a sushi expert? It takes a long time. It takes a sushi chef, I think, about two years wow. um, in Japan just to do the rice. Okay, here we go. Wow! They look See, so look how pretty. pretty they look. And they actually even look like normal sushi because of the Absolutely. cauliflower. Yeah. So now we're going to um, add all the different bits to our plate. So I wanted to make okay. it a nice little meal. So apart from having our sushi roll here, yeah. I thought today we'd have a go at making an inari. Now, okay. these are a little different. What are um, they? They are a tofu soy pocket, so you can buy okay. them ready packed. They're really, really simple. And again, it adds a, a different bit to your dish. So yeah. take one of those. All we're going to do is fill it. So oh, it's like a little parcel. It is. So it's a little parcel. So you open it up and you fill it. Today, we're going to use the black. Uh, quinoa and maybe fill it with crab because it's quite sweet Ooh, so it goes I really well crab. the flavors work really well together oh, that looks Perfect. really pretty and then always oh, lots of stuff here don't we yes so we've got edamame beans which we're going to use okay. definitely i use them all the time as a side they're really good protein okay so what just, just like a beans. handful on mm -hmm. handful on this is going to be awesome and then we're going to decorate it so for me, I always add, like to add flowers to sushi. And then finally, I have got some beetroot sprouts, which mm. are really, really, really pretty. And again, they're very vibrant in colour, so maybe the I'll put some of those so on. so good for you. Yeah. Ooh. And where would you put that on top? Um, I'm going to put mine on top, but you can maybe put it at the side of the dish. And finally, we have our wasabi. I love wasabi. Mm, super too. spicy, super hot. Um, and I always put something there. So. Okay, so that's it. So it's visually stunning, it's light, it's refreshing, and it's something I always use on retreats with my friends, with family. It's one of those dishes that everybody absolutely loves. Yeah, it just looks so beautiful. Thank you so much no for showing problem. me how to make it. I think we should go eat them by the pool. Definitely. This looks so awesome. I'm so excited to try it. Delicious. Mmm. Mm-hmm. So good, like really crunchy, like the creaminess of the avocado, yeah. and like that sweetness from the mango is so delicious. And I think these no carb versions really work well. Mm. Well, thank you so much for showing me how to make this. Like, My I feel pleasure. like I've learned a whole new skill. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more videos from Amory and yep. I, and I will see you next time. <laughs>